Nisha, all the little fairies and elves spend their days at the Magical Wellbeing Day Camp, MWDC. At the Magical Wellbeing Day Camp, the little fairies and elves study to grow up into princes and princesses and everything in between. One day, something strange occurred. The little fairies looked around and realized the elves were missing. After making this discovery, the princesses in training, or PITs, decided to embark on a journey. Their journey begins when one of the PITs spots a dragon-looking creature zoom over MWDC toward a scary place they have heard whispers of but never seen, the Dragon's Den. The fairies decide to brave their way to the den, but there's one problem. They have no idea how to get there. Their first stop is through the magical forest of Aralk. As the fairies frolic through the enchanted forest, they run into an ogre. Oh no! An ogre, they cry out. The fairies run to hide behind a tree. As they shiver in fright, they notice something off about the ogre. They hear a whimpering coming from that direction. The ogre is crying. Slowly, the fairies venture out to see the ogre. Uh, are you okay, they ask? The ogre explains to them that a gang of dragons flew by and it was very scary. The fairies give the ogre a big hug of support. The ogre is very appreciative and starts to feel much better. The fairies explain that the dragons kidnapped their elven PITs and are on their way to rescue them. The ogre is so impressed by how brave they are and tells them the dragons flew off in the direction of the river of Inev. The fairies say goodbye to their new friend and head off to the river. They march and march through the wetlands until they finally arrive. But there they encounter a problem. The river is too wide to jump over and the water too dangerous to swim through. What are they going to do? The fairies look around desperately for a solution. Just then, they see a big log lying in the marsh. The fairies have an idea. If they can manage to lift the big heavy log, they can use it to cross the dangerous river. All together, the fairies gather all their might and they lift the log and make it into a bridge. One by one, they cross the log, being very careful to keep their balance. The last one makes it across and the fairies spot a big cave on the other side. And what do they see on the horizon, just beyond the cave? It's the dragon's den. They look around to see if there's any other route, but they quickly realize the only way is through the cave. The cave is pitch black and there are spooky noises coming from it. The fairies gather all their courage and make their way into the cave. As they pass through the cave, it gets darker and darker with each step. The noises get spookier and spookier. The fairies are petrified, but they don't stop. Their elven friends need them. Finally, just when they think they will never make it through, they see a small dot of light. The exit! The fairies run and emerge into the light. Right into the face of a group of sleeping dragons! The fairies stop abruptly. Thankfully, the dragons are still fast asleep. It's so scary being so close to dragons, the fairies can barely think. But once again, they muster all their courage and quietly tiptoe off in search of their elven friends. They spot them. They are being held in the corner of the den. The fairies rush over sneakily. The elves are so relieved to see their friends. The fairies free them and they exchange noiseless hugs of celebration. There's only one thing left to do. They are almost free. They tiptoe back past the dragons to the entrance to the cave. As they are passing the last dragon, one elf accidentally steps on its tail. The dragon awakes with a roar. All of a sudden, all the dragons are alert. The elves and fairies abandon their stealth and start running. The dragons roar and roar, startled to be awoken so suddenly from their slumber. Luckily, the dragons are so surprised that by the time they realize what is happening, the fairies and elves are almost into the cave. The dragons speed off to catch them. The lead dragon bears down on them with the trailing PITs in its sight. Just as it's about to catch them, the group makes it into the cave. The dragon snout gets stuck in the entrance behind them. The fairies and elves let out a big sigh of relief. The fairies lead the elves back through the dark, spooky cave, over the log to cross the dangerous river, and into the enchanted forest. There, the fairies introduce the elves to their new friend, the ogre. 
They celebrate all together, dancing and singing into the night. Finally, they arrive back at MWDC to continue their training to be princes and princesses, and they all lived happily ever after. The end.